All right, y'all, what's going on, what's going on? All right, so today I am coming to you with a video as a part of the One Big Happy Family, another One Big Happy Family collab. This collab is called the More You Know Collaboration. Okay. So there you, there's like national days, there's like national months or what have you, and these like different, and every month has like some sort of awareness thing or what have you. And so we're highlighting the different things that um, month is, the, that the month of March is like the awareness month for, okay? So, um, yeah, so if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to start you guys and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so also this collab is a little different because. Um, we're not doing premieres like we normally do. Um, people are just going to drop videos at whatever time today or what have you. So I'll be on the lookout for everybody's videos. I will repost people's videos on my community tab and we'll go from there, okay? So today I'm eating in this video to share with you all about my thing that I wanted to highlight. Um, crumb cookie, of course, okay? So hello, it was time, folks. I'm actually very surprised that I got this lineup um, really just for this video, honestly, because I was not really feeling the lineup this week but here I am with some more Ragley uh crumble cookie and Ragley in my song essence of Sonya voice okay um okay so this is a triple chocolate chip key lime pie uh peanut butter fit feet peanut butter featuring Snickers and iced um, oatmeal. And I, I don't know, I don't think I've had the key lime pies. They've had it before, but I don't think I ever got it. But any of these other flavors, I don't believe I've had them. Okay, so my thing that I'm highlighting is um, the month of March is Women, Women's History Month. And I don't know if anybody's noticed. Um, I don't think I've necessarily talked about it. Maybe like the like the International Women's, or like Women's Day, I might've said something in a video. But every, every year for a while, I've been like on Black History Month, you guys will see my um, back splashes or backdrops in my thumbnails. And if I do a green screen, it's Black History Month. Month. And then for Women's History Month, I'll do the same thing. So the month of March, month of March is Women's History Month. So I've just been, you know, using different, you know, women's history celebratory pictures or what have you to showcase and highlight Women's History Month or what have you. And I also have been doing ad work as well, the backdrop for my um, team's backgrounds, what we use for like our video chats and stuff like that is a Women's History um, background. So anywho, um, yeah. So there's so many different. First of all, um, let me get to get into a cookie and then I'll keep going. Okay, this is iced oatmeal. Now, first of all, it was very good, very good old up there. No, I'm just playing. And crumble cookie, like, I personally haven't ever, honestly, this cookie really tastes like, um, It tastes like oatmeal and, I mean, um, I mean, it tastes like peanut butter, honestly. My taste buds could be off. I could be tasting what I'm smelling because the peanut butter is right here. My only concern is that I hope that this is, for me, I don't care, but they were like, you know, trying to rush or whatever because the store was packed. But I hope that, um, damn y'all. My concern is that, you know, people have peanut allergies or whatever, you know? And what if they messed around and gave somebody a uh, oatmeal cookie but it was supposed to be peanut butter and I don't know, I'm so confused. But I honestly don't feel like, I feel like this tastes like peanut butter. I wanna say that this is a peanut butter cookie. I know I I know I don't trip, I ain't tripping. Like my taste buds do be jacked up sometimes, but I really feel like this is a iced peanut butter cookie. 
and I'm more so concerned for people who have a you know peanut allergy because also I think about the bub too. The bub is allergic to peanut butter or peanuts. So you know somebody could really like they put some mess around, put somebody in the hospital behind me. But that don't taste like um it don't taste like oatmeal, it definitely tastes like peanut butter. Okay. Uh so they were very busy in there. Uh, I had originally wanted the oatmeal, the chocolate, and the key lime, and the Snickers, because, well, the peanut butter feature in Snickers, the Snickers are my favorite candy bar. However, uh, they had ran out when I got in there. For well, one, I was trying to order on the app. I figured it would be, I actually thought that they closed at 10, but the one up here closes at midnight on Friday and Saturday, I think it said. But I ain't want curbside. That was fine if they couldn't bring it out curbside. I was trying to order to pick it up in the store and it just would not let me get to the like payment screen. So I had to go in there, I had to wait to get to a kiosk or a person and then order. I'm just really nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, obviously I'm fine, but somebody could really, you know, there was people that wanted to order a whole bunch, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty certain that that is not oatmeal. Um, anywho, they were packed. And I, I usually don't ever go inside a crumble cookie. Like, I usually order, I don't even know if I've ever ordered and picked up in the store. I feel like I've always done curbside. Um, now, I, I've been against my better judgment because it ain't been a whole lot of, a whole bunch of chocolate cookies that I feel like they've done well, but I ordered this one anyway. Mm. I don't know, cause it just ain't, I, when, I, when I bite into a chocolate cookie, I want it to taste like a brownie. That's the kind of chocolate I want. Or, a really decadent like chocolate cake. This is almost, almost getting to the chocolate cake vibe, but. It's all right. I mean, I can work with it. I did warm them up. Cause I do, like me and Yasmin talk about that all the time. And uh, you know, you really gotta warm up a crumble cookie. If it's served warm, you really gotta warm it up to really ascertain, you know what I'm saying? how you feel about the flavor, you feel me? I did, all of these are warmed up there. I didn't um, do it right when I got them, but I did warm them. I could work with this one. It's not the best one that I've had from them. I forget what chocolate one I really like. But when they have it again, I ain't gonna know. Cause I really do try to steer clear of them. <laughs> um. What else was I going to say? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try the key lime pie. It's served cold. I think the, I had an apple pie one, and I feel like that one was served cold, but I think I want that up. I want that up yeah. I feel like I can see, like, you know, like, lime zest in the cream part. I don't know that I've ever had, like, key lime pies before, either. I have had key lime pie flavored stuff. Cheesecake candy. But don't know that I've actually had like key lime pie so that's, isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Um It's pretty good. I like this cream. I like um the crust on this. I wonder if like the ones when they make it like a pie, because there obviously are different types of pies that they have if they use the same like cookie bottom or whatever. I just thought about something, but I'm not going, 
I'm not gonna say it in this video. It'll have to be a topic for another video, but I do wanna, wanna discuss it over there. But anywho, so I'm just gonna read off a couple people because this video, I'm just gonna keep it kinda short. So it lists, when I clicked on the website there, it lists the, you know, a couple different women who are pioneers in women's history or whatever. So Sojourner so Truth is one. And she was a abolitionist and women's rights activist who was born into slavery and escaped with her infant daughter. She later became known for her Ain't I a Woman speech regarding racial inequalities in the year 1851 at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention. Um, Coretta Scott King, okay, played a crucial role in keeping alive the legacy of her husband, uh, civil rights leader uh, Martin Luther King Jr. After his death, she started the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent Social Change in 1968 after he was assassinated. Rosa Parks, excuse me. Um, was one of the most famous influential women of the civil rights movement in 1955. She refused to give up her seat in the color section of a bus to a white one, white man sorry, and got charged with civil disobedience. Today, she's widely known as the mother of the freedom movement. Something interesting though, and I, it, it's, all, it's a conflicting thing because like you don't want to take people shine away, but also, and I don't know where I even discovered it at, but that Rosa Parks like wasn't the first person to like do that, but obviously she was like well known for like the most maybe famous case of the of someone who has done it or whatever. But National Women's History Month was established in 1987 as a way to celebrate women across the nation and their efforts to make the country and world a better place for women of all ages and races. So shout out to the folks who really fought for us and like that. Okay. Um, even though, I mean, just like with, um, you know, slavery, I feel like we still really ain't free. I feel like us as women really still aren't equal, but I feel like we are making strides and, you know, have made way a lot more progress, um, than we did have. So, um, but yes, I, like I said, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. Um, so that is it. And that's all. Um, I hope that you, um, next March, even if you didn't take the time or knew about national women's international women's history month or women's history month, you know, we still got a couple days left, take some time and like really, you know, discover some really influential women in history or what have you give thanks uh highlight some women in your life that have made like a difference in your life women or you know in society or what have you made good contributions to society and things and yeah um yeah and also oh maybe maybe i'll put it in the description box but there is a website that i used to use that's what i was gonna say i forgot to say earlier but um at my old job i was in charge of like this fun board basically and uh one of the things was putting like the national like national days on there there's so many national days you would be very much so surprised i mean something as simple as like national hair day to like uh national like toe day like it's a lot of different national days so um in the month and like a, vo a vocab word of the day a quote or something like that um so yeah i was i used to like be up on this stuff and like really understand or like know all these national days what have you um i i thought about it and maybe i should maybe i don't know i'll do it one day or something like do what or eat whatever that national day is or whatever at some point i don't know it'll be a series maybe i'll do that for a week or something like that um a themed week okay um but anywho on that note we're gonna peace out i don't even know if i said that i'm gonna say it again thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let us know things you like to see us try things you like to see us good interact with us because we do like to hear from you and subscribe to the channel and subscribe hit that bell to get notifications the next time we post a video and we'll see you in the next one